Hello, and welcome to another tutorial for Unity Character Customization. This was a request by a customer to showcase the compatibility between Character Customization and Character Creator 3 by Reillusion. Reillusion provides a free trial with 10 exports, so you can check to see if it is right for you. I configured a female character in Character Creator 3, gave her a bunch of clothes, and a pose. Once you're ready, go File, Export, FBX. It is important that you select Unity 3D from the Target Tool preset. You also need to select Mesh and Motion, and you can specify your current pose. Then hit Export. Over in Unity, we need to import character customization from the Unity Asset Store. We also need to add our exported character into Unity. You may be prompted to fix normal maps. Select Fix Now. On our character, we need to modify the rig from generic to humanoid. Hit Apply. Before we proceed, we need to make sure our character is working. So let's make a new scene, drag our character over, add a temporary light on the animator controller, select our female controller, and make sure we have the right avatar. Now let's hit play. If the character is working correctly, it'll be playing the idle animation. Next, let's set up character customization. We need to add our example scenes into build settings. They are game, gender, male, and female. We will need to replace our example character Unity Chan with the female we exported from Character Creator 3. First, we need a new base character. We have a tool for that. We can go to Character Customization, Prefab Generator. I have a dock down here. Let's take this character and unpack the prefab. Let's drag it into full character. And let's drag in the root. Since this is a female character, we need to turn is male off. Character Customization version 1.1 now includes a generated assets folder. For version 1.0, you need to make the folder. Now, let's do generate base character. And we created our character builder underscore female. Next, we need to generate outfit pieces. Using this test character 01, we can remove the animator because we do not want any of our pieces to have the animator. With the full character selected and the root selected, now let's do generate pieces. This can take a few seconds. Once it is complete, you will see the individual pieces Let's go into our prefabs folder, rename our character builder female that was our base for Unity Chen to old, and drag our new character base in here for organization. Now we need our scenes to reference this new prefab in the spawner. Don't save this new scene we've been making. In our game scene in the spawner, instead of our old Unity Chen base, we will be using this new female base. The same in our male scene and our female scene. Hit save. Let's go to the game scene. Now in resources, we need to configure outfits for the new female pieces that we generated. Let's create a new folder and we'll call it character creator three pieces. For organization, we will now take all of our generated pieces and move them into our new folder. For our hair scriptable object, we can use the new hair. For the body, we can specify body, eyes, eye occlusion, tear line, teeth, tongue. And we should also add the bra and the underwear to make sure our character is naked. For shirt, we can select the plaid shirt. For shirt two, we can select the camisole. For legs, we can select the jeans. Now let's make a new outfit by going right click, create, scriptable objects, outfit scriptable object, and call it outfit5 shoes01. We'll call it shoes. We can give it any icon. The artist on your team can create the icon for it. And we can specify the boots. We also want to make a new category. Right click, create, scriptable object, outfit, category, scriptable object. We'll call it outfit, category F3. Let's call it shoes. Now in the shoes that we made, we can specify F3 as our category. Additionally, it is important for our body to be our category default. So let's go into category one. And for category defaults, 
let's specify body. We do this to ensure that it cannot be equipped if it is the only thing selected, and to make sure that our character isn't invisible to start. Now let's try and hit play. Let's go to select gender, female, and as we can see, our category default is automatically selected and cannot be equipped until something else is put on. Now the problem is, if we change it to a shirt, we can unequip our body. So what we want to do is make sure that the body category doesn't have anything else other than other body variations. This might be a uh, skin with tattoos or a mecha variant where she might have cyber arms or limbs. So let's make a new category, create outfit category scriptable object. We'll call it outfit category F4. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'll call it arms. Now all of our shirts need to have the arms category, shirt one and shirt two. Now if we hit play, since we selected a gender, our default for the female shows up. We can add her hair. Since there are no body alternatives, her body is always there. If you wanted the body to be there from the start, but not show up in a category and as a customized option, you can make the body skin mesh renders part of the base character. And then instead of the tool, you would do it manually. But in this case, we have the body show up because we might want variations of the body. Now we can add her pants, remove her pants, add her shoes, remove her shoes, and we can modify her shirts. Hit save, hit done, and just like that, we have a character from Character Creator 3 working with character customization in Unity. If we turn off the game and play again, you can see our character loads again. I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please look at the other tutorials and the documentation. Enjoy using character customization. Thank you very much.